You know, in the future, I think most businesses are going to just have to be sustainable or they'll get run out of town, you know, because we're realising now we can't do what we've been doing for decades. We can't imperil our whole earth and all of the creatures that live on it just because we want something instantly. We're going to have to take a bit more time and a bit more care and businesses that don't do that are going to be fall by the wayside. So sustainability in our lifetime has become front and centre. Every company now has to think about it. Every company is working on it. Most companies are really putting things into action to help our world in some way. And that is a really important step for us as humans who want to go on living on this planet. Hi, I'm Cedar Anderson. My name's Stu and I'm Cedar's father. And together we invented the Flow Hive. A hive like this can pollinate 50 million flowers a day, which is absolutely extraordinary. And it's why humans have dragged the honeybee all around the world wherever they go, because they are such extraordinary pollinators. Now our agriculture and the honeybees are intertwined. And without the honeybees, we can't produce enough food to support the human population as we know it. But it's not only the honeybees, it's all the other species of pollinators that are really important as well. And without pollination, the world as we know it falls apart. Cedar and I have had to make decisions about how this company works and what we do and don't buy and the processes we're involved with. It's been important to us to keep our product made in Australia. And that means supporting Australian businesses, it means we can keep an eye on the supply chain, and it means that we can keep an eye on how our workers are being treated. And we're continually going on refinement loops, which means looking at our product, looking at the materials, and going, how can we do better? How can we phase out single-use plastics and go from a little Ziploc bag containing the screws to a, to a nice little cardboard box, and so on and so on, until we have a truly sustainable product. So our wood is sourced from forests that have been managed sustainably. We're using laser cutters to cut our wood into these beautiful shapes you see here. And we're installing a massive array of solar panels so that we can cut that wood with sunshine. There are a few different advantages to prioritising sustainability. One is, of course, it feels good to me, but our customers really appreciate it. Because the thing about it, if you've got a choice between two products and one, you know, is poisoning the world in one way or another and the other one isn't, which one are you going to choose? When we prioritise sustainability, we also have influence over other companies because we're saying to them, no, this product that you're offering us isn't good enough. We want one that's sustainable. Find it for us. And for them, at first that can be a little bit puzzling. Why are they doing that? And after a while they get it, of course. And they want to be on that journey as well. They want a good world for their children and their grandchildren. So it starts to make sense to others as well. The shipping of hives and materials around the world has a carbon footprint, meaning that a lot of fuel is being burnt to do that. And we've committed to be carbon neutral by 2025. And that means we're either not producing that carbon dioxide into the atmosphere anymore, or we're offsetting it by planting trees, etc. Certifications are important to keep a company on track. And one of those certifications we have is called B Corp. Not only because it's got B in the name, and what B Corp stands for is doing business instead of plan A, which is make as much money as you can and if you feel bad about it, donate a bit over here. Let's do things that have a positive impact all the way through, and that's plan B. And it's not easy to get the certification, but what it means is you're constantly looking at your policies. You're going through everything from what's on the table in your office to the complete infrastructure that keeps all of the cogs in your company going. So becoming part of certification bodies that are doing active and great work in the world, which helps push you to make sure you are doing your best all the way through and continually improving. When we think about our marketing, we think about how can we put forward a proposition that raises funds for Habitat? How can we, at that point you're engaging your customer, make sure that we're putting forward the environmental proposition? 
So the way we've done that is through a variety of things. One is we've created this upcycled pollinator house from Flowhive Offcuts with the idea it's a fundraiser. So 100% of profits goes to habitat regeneration and protection to look after our pollinators. From that, we created a micro-grants program where people can apply and we'll support them with what they're doing to support pollinators around the world. And also donating to larger organisations that are doing amazing work in the world. One of which is a bee-friendly farming project where we provide seed to farmers to plant in order to support pollinators and also help them plot a path to phase out insecticides. And we're now bringing that bee-friendly farming project from the USA to Australia so we can repeat the process here. In creating our brand that we call Flow, we want to make sure the environmental views and values we hold are embedded so deeply into the brand that even when we're dead and gone, the brand goes on doing good things because it would be worthless without those views and values. Thank you.